A Valley man says that someone stole his trailer and wooding cabin Monday afternoon. He says he left it off Highway 99 and Merced Sunday night, and now he's asking for your help to find it. Fox 26 reporter Sophia Alessio spoke to the man who says he is now out more than $28,000. So, Sophia, why did he leave the cabin on the side of the road there? Listen, Monty, BJ Rummerfield says a tire blew out on the trailer that was carrying the cabin. And since it was Sunday night and most places were closed, he decided to leave it there and come back with the tire the next day. It's, it's a really noticeable cabin on wheels. It's 14 foot tall and 20 foot long. It's uh, you can't miss it. It's something you don't see on the road every day. A cabin, proudly built by hand by B.J. Rummerfield. A cabin now missing, stolen in broad daylight. I, I just couldn't believe it. Rummerfield says he and his son were heading home Sunday to Springville from a trade show in Red Bluff, just north of Sacramento. He was passing through Merced when a tire blew out on his trailer. We pulled it off the freeway to uh, change it. But he quickly realized he didn't have a spare. Rummerfield says he tried to find a place that sold tires at night, but no tire shop was open. He says he had no choice but to leave the cabin and the trailer and get a spare closer to home. And by the time I came back, it was uh, the trailer was gone. That was around two Monday afternoon, 20 hours later. First, I thought maybe it had been impounded or something, so I called CHP and they uh, I was on the phone with them for probably half an hour as they checked everything. Um, all the CHP officers in the area had noticed it uh, even up until an hour before the time that I got there. Uh, it was still there. That's when he took to social media asking if anyone had spotted his cabin. One person in particular had uh, um, photos from their their house of the vehicle that had taken it traveling by there. This truck was seen driving off with the cabin on Gurr Road down the street from the Atwater Merced Expressway where Rummerfield left it. That was around 1.54 in the afternoon, just minutes before he returned. Now Rummerfield says much of his business is on hold. It will take him about a month to build a new cabin. This kind of, you know, hampers our business from being able to take it anywhere and display it. Rummerfield tells me the cabin is worth $25,000 and the trailer that was pulling it is about $3,000. I did reach out to CHP Merced to see if officers had any update or leads on the cabin, but I have not heard back. But of course, we will keep you updated once we learn more. Montinless. It is pretty noticeable. You have to think <laughs> someone somewhere has seen it. Thank you, Sophia. If you do see the cabin and the trailer, you are urged to call CHP Merced at 209-356-6600.